For this topic, we're going to use all of the techniques that we have learned from our previous lessons. Meaning, we're gonna utilize our power rule, our product rule, identity function rule, and all the other rules or theorems. The same basic differentiation formulas are applied in finding the derivative of equation in implicit form. We're gonna see what happens when x and y are combined. Every problem we have seen so far has been y equals something in terms of x. What we're gonna do now is we're going to see a function where x and y are mixed. So anong gagawin natin when x and y are combined? We're gonna do implicit differentiation. It says that if y is a function of x but y cannot be expressed in terms of x explicitly, we can still find dy over dx by implicit differentiation. But first, what's the difference between explicit and implicit function? Explicit function is expressed as y equals f of x. Examples, y equals x squared plus 3, y equals x squared minus 4x plus 2, or y equals x cubed plus 4x minus 5. So all the problems we had from our previous lessons were all explicit function, functions of y in terms of x. On the other hand, it is implicit function when x and y are intermixed. Examples, x squared plus y squared equals 1, xy plus 2x equals 5, y cubed plus 4x plus y equals 2x plus 5 or xy plus 2xy squared equals x cubed plus y cubed. We can see that on one side of the equation, or both sides of the equation, x and y are mixed, and we call that implicit function. So basically, these are the problems that we're gonna be dealing with. To do implicit differentiation means we have to follow some steps. Number one, Differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Second, combine all terms containing dy over dx on the left side of the equation and all the other terms on the right side. On the left side of the equation, factor out dy over dx. And finally, isolate dy over dx by dividing out the factor on the left side. So those are the four steps in dealing with implicit function. Now, the most important thing that we need to know about implicit differentiation is that we tend to use it when x and y are combined. We're going to take the derivative of every variable or every term using the rule like power, product, and so forth, but bear in mind that every time you take the derivative of y, you should multiply it by dy over dx. Let's have some examples. Number one, find the derivative of x squared plus y squared equals one. In this problem, x and y are on the same side. So this is an implicit function since x and y are mixed. We follow the steps. Number one, differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. So we have d over dx times x squared plus y squared equals d over dx times one. We differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And this means that we need to take the derivative of each variable or each term. What's the derivative of x squared? Apply the power rule. So we have 2x plus, what's the derivative of the second term? y squared would be 2y by applying the same rule, the power rule. However, Take note that every time you take the derivative of y, you should multiply it by dy over dx. Since this is y, we need to multiply it by dy over dx. In here, we did not write dy over dx since it's x. If it's x, we don't have to multiply it by anything. Equals, what's the derivative of 1? It's constant, and the derivative of any constant is 0. Now, second step, 
is to combine all terms containing dy over dx on the left side of the equation and all the other terms on the right side of the equation. Since we already have 2y over 2y times dy over dx on the left side, we just copy 2y times dy over dx equals, we transpose 2x to the other side, making it negative 2x. Then, we can now divide this by 2y. So our derivative is negative 2x over 2y. Can we simplify? Yes. We can cross out 2. That is why the derivative or the dy over dx of this problem is negative x over y. Our derivative is a function of x and y, and that's because the original problem was a function of x and y. Again, what do we do when x and y are combined? We just leave it exactly the way it is and take the derivative of every term, but always remember that whenever you take the derivative of y, you multiply it by dy over dx. Let's do another example. y cubed plus y minus 3x squared equals 2x plus 5. First, is to differentiate both sides of the equation. So d over dx times y cubed plus y minus 3x squared equals d over dx times 2x plus 5. Then, take the derivative of each term. What's the derivative of y cubed? Apply power rule. So we have 3y raised to 3 minus 1 is 2. Remember, we're taking the derivative of y, so you must not forget to multiply it by dy over dx. Plus, what's the derivative of y? Apply identity function rule. Derivative of x is 1. So therefore, derivative of y is also equal to 1. But since this is y, do not forget to multiply it by dy over dx. So 1 times dy over dx is dy over dx. Minus derivative of the third term, 2 times 3, by applying power rule, is 6 times x raised to 2 minus 1 is 1. No need to write 1. Equals derivative of 2x, 2 times derivative of x is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Plus derivative of 5, it is constant. And the derivative of any constant is 0. So 2 plus 0 is just 2. So what we're going to do next is to keep every term with dy over dx on the left-hand side of the equation. In this case, we have 3y squared dy over dx plus dy over dx and move every term that doesn't have dy over dx to the right-hand side. So we will move negative 6x to the other side making it positive 6x, and simply copy plus 2. On the left side, they have dy over dx in common, so we'll factor it out. If we factor out dy over dx, we are then left with 3y squared plus 1. Again, if we distribute it back, we come back right where we started. We just copy 6x plus 2. Dapat, sa isang side, si dy dx na lamang. So we can just divide the equation by 3y squared plus 1. We cancel this, so we're left with dy over dx on the left side. And on the right side, we just simply copy 6x plus 2 divided by 3y squared plus 1. And this is the derivative of problem number 2. Let's do another example on the next video.